Hello there. Long time no speak. Just a quick update on what I'm doing on Destiny 2 at the moment. After a long break from my Top Tree Dawn playstyle and then about a six month hiatus, I came back to play as soon as sunsetting was reversed. I vowed to come back and not take PvP too seriously and mainly play some PvE content, but then a new gun came out. One with heaps of character and style, and I have absolutely done a U-turn on all of those initial goals, and I don't think I've ever completed a catalyst so quickly in my life. Let me introduce to you my Dead Man's Tail build. It's gonna be a shotgun bait in that corner. Let me see if I can bounce it. First off, I want to point out that this was all theme and fashion over function. Dead Man's is a western kind of weapon, so I wanted a western cowboy themed armor set and loadout. So for the exotic of choice, we have the stag, the only non-hyper-futuristic helmet we have in the game, at least to my knowledge. Most players consider this exotic useless, but I'm going to be making it work with empowering rifts, allowing me to start off a frag with a simple two-tap, give me a good chance at helping me in clutch situations, and give my team a healing rift should I die in a team fight, making my res much more sweeter. I'll just pause a moment to show you all the ornaments and shaders in case you're interested. I also want to point out that most of this armor was a bunch of ragtag pieces in my vault, and the stats are nowhere near optimal. I'm still grinding this set out to make it even more effective. For the secondary slot, I only really saw one option. When you think of cowboy movies, you think of revolvers, repeaters, and TNT. And as Trust was Sunset, I couldn't use Trust as the revolver option, so the last, most obvious choice I have left to me was the TNT choice, and the closest thing I could get to that was a GL. The heavy slot I kind of ignored as I was barely going to be using it, but Prospector would have been perfect would I have been allowed to use it. So this play style is very primary weapon based and struggles against good snipers and hand holding teams. You only really use your GL for shotgun rushes once you get good enough to lead them consistently, which I am absolutely not that good yet or you cleaning up kills where the enemy is either retreating back to their team or hiding behind something to regenerate their health. The playstyle is weak to good snipers because of the poor net code of Destiny. Very often you'll land a headshot with the scout and you'll think you're safe, but you'll just get headshot by the sniper most of the times. Even in private matches I've confirmed that the shots that come out first on my screen only hit and flinch the opponent after they've taken their headshot. It's weak to hand-holding teams because at the end of the day you have zero purposeful one-hit kill potential, which means movement, riff management and baiting are heavy factors for success. You have very little opportunity to peek a lane and not get sniped, or insta-killed by three 120s all at once. So finally we have the stats. I was mainly going to prioritise recovery for better neutral game and rift cooldown. Discipline where possible to tie in with the subclass choice, which by the way is Bottom Tree Void Walker, for maximizing 1v3 and clipping potential, and the most important stat of the build, mobility, which sounds really weird coming from a Warlock player. I wanted to ensure that I raised this weapon strength to the absolute limit and reach the tippy top of the skill ceiling that I could with this weapon. As I'm aiming to master the hip firing, close range and long range, I wanted maximum strafe speed to be able to duel most effectively. At the moment, I only have subsistence on my dead man's tail, but I'm just waiting for that moving target roll which will allow me to ADS more often, over 30 meters, without losing too much mobility and give me better chances against this 120 meta. So I think I've gone over everything to do with this build. I'm greatly enjoying the learning curve as I'm very much a play from a distance kind of player, especially with stasis now here. The banking of GL shots comes naturally to me as one of the first pieces of content I made for YouTube was a Call of Duty Black Ops Tomahawk bank shot montage, so thinking about retreat angles comes naturally to me. I hope you enjoy and there'll be plenty more of these as we go on. Once I've reached a level of consistency where everything is constantly clean, I'll think about making a montage or hiring someone to do one for me. For now, I'm going with a journey to mastery kind of thing, but thanks very much for sticking with me and I hope you enjoy.